sky It's Stuart here and I'm happy to tell you all that my Boeing 787 Dreamliner is finally finished and ready to go join the other aircraft up, up in, my, in my new bedroom when the new shelf comes that is. So what we have for this uh, particular model is a 144 scale Boeing 787 Dreamliner. I mentioned this before back in my last channel that I would get to work on this aircraft but, in part, but unfortunately delayed, I was delayed over and over again in getting this aircraft made for Many reasons. One was getting the one, one was getting the new workplace uh, up and running and set up for for aircraft like uh, this one here, as well as other as well as other uh, delays beyond uh, my control. But about this aircraft itself, this is my first uh, airliner that I made, and as you can see, there were a few mistakes made. Like as you saw there in the video, I put masking tape on the uh, on this uh, on this plastic here. So, uh, but unfortunately, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to turn out. So then another thing about this uh, airplane is is about the decals. Some of the decals were very fiddly, like this big blue one here. It was very fiddly, it was very hard to get on. And even some of these Rolls Royce uh, engine decals here on the engines itself. But uh, other than that though, uh, other, other than that though, uh, the aircraft itself is... Uh, I personally thought I did a pe pretty decent job in this uh, aircraft. Now, if I was entering this aircraft in a, in a in a competition, say a modeling airplane competition, I would probably expect this aircraft to be perfect. But in this case, though, since it's just for myself and for you guys to see to see my work, then I then I'm then it's okay, really. So what I did instead, since some of the canopy windows uh, weren't uh, weren't working properly, what I did here was decide to add a little effect to it. I wanted to add a little effect where the blinds. Here, where where it almost felt like the blinds was closed on the on the windows here, so it gave it that kind of impression as if the aircraft was flying to the to the skies on a long haul flight to a to another country. But other than that, though, the aircraft itself, I gen I personally had fun uh, making this airplane. While yes, though, uh, there were a few mistakes made, and I and there were times when I nearly destroyed the aircraft to a point where it was better off been thrown away in the bin. But other than that, though, uh, I I I. I genuinely enjoyed making this aircraft. I also forgot to uh, 
adding a little landing weight there to the to the front of the aircraft because if I take this off here, let me just the entire aircraft itself is uh, resting is not is not resting on this uh, little landing gear here. But my dad's going but my dad says he has a few pins here that he might help me be able to uh, see to that problem. So what I'm doing here, I'm just gonna leave this bit of sanding here. So that way it so that way it gives the landing gear time to uh glue up the for this front landing gear here is still trying to uh glue up here. I had a bit of a problem with the uh with the land with the front landing gear trying to get it on. I destroyed a little bit of it, but other than that though uh, I managed to get it on generally. So I thank you now for watching this video on the uh on the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. I'm happy with, I'm gen as I said before, I'm genuinely happy with the aircraft as it is with with how I put it into it. So now all it is now is to wait for the shelf to come and then the 787 Dreamliner will be on the shelf there. Displays perfectly in my opinion. Join me next time where we'll be finally making the the Airbus A380 in the Lufthansa livery. It is a 144 scale uh it is a 1.144 scale uh model just like this the 787 Dreamliner here. So it'll be in so be nearly the same size as the uh as the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Also, one other, one thing I want to add in is that it's my I also used this PVA glue that I bought over in Mark's Models. It's for it was used for the canopy. Excuse me. It was used to put on the, the canopy glass and the plastic and the clear plastic parts. Because I saw a video on someone putting on clear plastic parts and he was using uh, and he was using this uh, and he was using PVA glue. Not not the same one here though, but similar to it I think. Also, just going back to uh, the next model here, it'll also be the first time where I'm going to be also trying out some varnishes. In this case, I'm going to be using a clear gloss varnish, which is an acrylic varnish, that I'm going to have a go with uh, on the next model here. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to make sure that I get the spray painting right for next time on the uh, on the Airbus A380. Compared to the triple, to compared to the seven eight seven, I almost said triple seven. <laughs> compared to the seven eight seven, and hopefully it will it will go a little bit more smoother than with the seven eight seven. But like I said before, I'm genuinely happy with the seven eight seven as it is in its current state. So I thank you for watching now, and I will see you guys in my next video.